What face do you see when you're in the presence of God? Does his face reflect his son's payment of your sins? Or does it reflect the disapproval of your unconfessed sin? That's why we need to repent quickly. Someone asked a pastor, I know, how come God's blessed you so much? You have a humongous ministry. You must be, you know, you must be doing things that other people don't know. He said, no, no. I repent quickly. I don't walk around with unconfessed sin. When I mess up, I fess up right away. It's like a caloric altar call. Admit it, quit it, and forget it. Quit punishing yourself. It's an act of unbelief that the punishment of Jesus for your sins was not sufficient and somehow you make a better punishment subject. I don't think you'd want to suffer the punishment. If you want to compete with his punishment, you've got a long way to go. We don't always see the face that God shows us because like Adam and Eve, the fear of punishment and rejection makes us want to put something between our face and his face. They put a tree, we put the previous father. God's word develops our perception of God's facial reflection. Think about that. Does your reflection of God, child of God, does it reflect what the scripture says about the face of God? Or do you have an unbiblical, misfigured image of Father God? But be doers of the word and not hearers only, deceiving yourself. For if anyone is a hearer of the word and not a doer, he is like a man observing his natural face in the mirror. For he observes himself, goes away, and immediately forgets what kind of man he was. But he who looks into the perfect law of liberty and continues in it and is not forgetful hearer of the word, but the doer of the work. This one is blessed in what he does. What is, what is he saying? He's saying when you look in the word of God, you're looking into a a mirror that reflects God and the reflection of God begins to transform your reflection just like a child that we look at a child and we smile at a child and the child smiles and, and there's a parallel reaction when we have the right image of God in our hearts and we understand that God loves us makes us loving when we understand God forgives us it makes us forgiving when we understand that God is generous it makes us generous and the list goes on and on and that's why it is so important that we as Christians realize that we are made in God's image. We are not made in the image of the United States. We are not made in the image of the state of Maine. We are not made in the image of politics. We are made in the image of God, and we need to reflect that before we reflect anything else in political realm, in the family realm, in, in the governmental realm. We need to reflect the face of the Father. Father. 